Tungiasis, caused by the penetration of the female sand flea tunga penetrans into the skin, presents as a painful inflammatory condition primarily affecting the feet but may also occur in other parts of the body. However, the resolution of tungiasis depends on various factors, including proper treatment and individual immune response. In mild cases, where the infestation is limited and detected early, the lesions may heal spontaneously within a few weeks as the embedded fleas die and are sloughed off with the natural shedding of the skin. Moreover, meticulous hygiene practices, such as washing the affected areas with soap and water, can accelerate the removal of the fleas and prevent secondary infections, hastening the resolution process. However, in more severe cases or in individuals with compromised immune systems, tungiasis may persist and lead to complications such as bacterial infections, abscess formation, or chronic inflammation. In such instances, medical intervention becomes necessary to alleviate symptoms, eradicate the infestation, and prevent further complications. Treatment modalities may include manual extraction of the fleas using sterile instruments, topical application of antiseptic or antiparasitic agents to kill the fleas, and administration of antibiotics to manage secondary infections. Additionally, pain management strategies may be employed to alleviate discomfort and improve the quality of life during the healing process. It's essential to note that prevention plays a crucial role in controlling tungiasis outbreaks, particularly in endemic regions. Implementing measures such as wearing protective footwear, avoiding walking barefoot in infested areas, and maintaining clean living environments can significantly reduce the risk of infestation. Furthermore, community-based interventions focusing on education, early detection, and prompt treatment can help mitigate the burden of tungiasis on affected populations. Overall, while tungiasis may resolve spontaneously in mild cases, prompt recognition, appropriate treatment, and preventive measures are essential for managing the condition effectively and preventing its recurrence. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, click the like button, and activate the notification bell if you wish to see more content like this. Thanks for watching.